What is going on everybody? It is Invigum1 here, back again with another video. And today, we are out and about, out in Franklin, Tennessee, going to be doing something called geocaching, which is basically uh, a real life scavenger hunt type thing. Uh, use GPS or your phone, and basically you find these little stashes or little uh, logs that people have hidden around the world um, through the app, and you sign it or log it on the app, and basically just fun to just go around and uh, kill some summer boredom by looking for these things. So that's what I'm out doing today. So I thought I'd make a video about it. We were at our first one here. We were in the parking lot of the uh, Franklin, Tennessee family fun place. Basically, it uh, has bowling, it has an arcade, all that good stuff. Um, the one we're trying to find right now is called Rolling Family Fun. It's a 1.5 out of 5 difficulty, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm only uh, going to do some basic ones today. And uh, supposedly I'm right near it. Now, I have a hunch that it is in that light post right there. A common trope of geocaches is putting them inside the bases of light posts like that. So, uh, let's go check it out. Alright, here we go. Up to the light post. I'm 90% sure it's going to be inside this thing right here. And there it is. There's a pin with it, so uh, I'll go ahead and sign it, and then we'll uh, keep going from there. And just like that, I have signed it on the uh, physical thing, on the little logbook in there. I've also logged it in the app, so there's two records of me doing it. So that's basically the, the, the gist of this geocaching thing. You, you use your app, try to find these things. That was a very easy one, of course. Some of them are much harder to find, multiple puzzle steps to get to it. Um, you go up to it, sign your name, do it on the app, and basically you just try to get as many as possible. So we're going to go and uh, head to the next one, which is going to be in Pinkerton Park, a local park in Franklin, Tennessee. The next one is called Tennessee Pencil Exchange, and like I said, it's at Pinkerton Park here in Franklin. It's actually at uh, Fort Granger, which is a old Civil War fort um, up that hill, way over there. Can't really, I don't know if you can tell from the video. But we're going to have to climb up there. There's old uh, trenches and earthworks from where they uh, did battle there, and uh, we'll go check it out. top of Fort Granger on this bright and beautiful day. You can see for miles. Sorry if I'm out of breath. It's quite the walk up here. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse. Might have not been too good, but uh, it was fun. So as you can see, Fort Granger. You can see some of the, uh, the mounds around here where troops would hide behind them and shoot out. Got a nice little wooden walkway up here. And the cache should be this way. Kind of over where those, uh, I don't know if you can see if there's some trucks moving over there. It's like a warehouse. So let's go get it. Wow guys, this is really cool. They're like maybe 20 foot, uh, 20 foot on the left, but maybe 10 feet on the right. Trenches on either side of us walking through here exactly as the soldiers would have back in the day pretty much just untouched pretty crazy but really really cool still working our way toward it working our way toward it it's in this back corner of the park I'm pretty sure near that gate well guys we were in the middle of the woods and this one is only also 1.5 difficulty but this one was pretty hard I had to go through some poison ivy cross a fence and some stuff but finally and this tree here, in this crevice, if we look down, see. the cache reveals itself. So I'm gonna open this up, sign it, and we'll get on our way. But that one was a, uh, man, <laughs> part of this was blocked off, it said earthworks restoration, but I did, I may have broken that rule to come get this geocache, so whoever made this one, Thanks, but I want to consider doing something considering this area is blocked off right now. For our final cache of the day, we are going to go check out the factory of Franklin, which is an old 
stove factory that was turned into like a mall type place with a whole bunch of little like uh, boutique stores and restaurants and stuff. And they have this sculpture on the outside made of trash that's like it was built into like the shape of this this dude. They call him Rusty because it's like rusty metal and stuff like that. And I've been looking for the geocache. It's been a couple years. Um, me and my mom came and searched this one a couple times and never could find it. So today, just for this video, I'm gonna go search for this, find it on camera, no matter how long it takes, and that'll be the finale. Well, I found it, or at least what I think is it. I found it over in that downspout uh, over there, behind the statue, after reading a whole bunch of uh, comments and stuff. I spent about 20 minutes searching all around, I couldn't find it, so I had to look in the comments. But now I'm just having trouble, I'm having trouble opening it, if this is even it. For all I know, this could be a spare key for the door, but it was, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to get this open. Yep, that was it. I opened it, but I couldn't sign it because I don't have a pin. But uh, this video is proof that I did find it. So, uh, still not exactly sure what they were going for because Rusty didn't really have anything to do with it. But uh, I found it, found R3 for the day. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon.